Tensions are high in Bahrain ahead of Sunday's Formula One Grand Prix, but not in anticipation of a dramatic race. Tens of thousands of pro-reform protesters across the country are furious at the government hosting a major sports event despite the kingdom's poor human rights record. Demonstrators burnt tyres to block main roads and hurled petrol bombs at riot police who responded with tear gas. Protesters also demanded the F1 management should cancel the Bahrain stage of the Grand Prix. There's little hope this will happen, though, as the organisers believe the unrest doesn't pose a threat to the event's security. The human rights activist Jihan Kazaruni explains the opposition is almost powerless to influence the situation in the kingdom. Being a human rights activist, uh, unfortunately, we don't have that much power to improve the situation. What we can do is just to document the cases, deliver to human rights organizations, and spread the awareness of being peaceful in the protests. Actually, uh, during the emergency uh, law, security emergency law uh, before two years, uh, the regime was arresting every person who was trying to talk and expose the regime's violations. The Basuni report came up with, with this uh, saying that the, the, the government should rehabilitate torture victims. They did not take a step in this. So we as Bravo, uh, Bahrain Rehabilitation Organization, tried to rehabilitate the torture victims. Unfortunately, the government is keeping pressure on us not to continue our job.